Okay. So what I would like you to do, mm -hmm. I would like you to take these points, the velocity, transverse velocity, mm -hmm. and the acceleration at each point. Positive x direction. What's going on at point one? At point one, you're on you're on a zero slope. Well, okay. So velocity is zero. Very good. Because that's right at the very peak. We know mm -hmm. that's going to be zero. What about now, a sub y? A sub y. I mean, the easiest way to look at it is just look at the concavity. It's concave down. Oh, that way. oh yeah. negative. It's concave negative. down. The acceleration is that way. Less than zero. Okay? Okay. All right, let's look at point two. What's going on in point two? Okay, so let's go over the concept. So because we're moving in the positive x direction, what you need to do is you need to stand here as if you were sitting at two and move to the right. What is the point going to do? It's going to ascend, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to go up. So therefore, the velocity is greater than zero. Okay. Stick to this. It, if we move to the right, it moves up. It should be greater than zero. Okay. Okay. I'm and with you. This is point inflection is roughly about there. So mm -hmm. we have now switched from a concave down to a concave up. Up. So therefore, the acceleration is positive. Positive. Good. All right. Let's look at point three. Point three. If we're standing right here and we move to the right, uh -huh. it's decreasing. Decreasing. Good. So the velocity would be less than zero. Do you see how we did that? I see how we did that. And okay. since it's on a concave down, good. It's negative. Good. Getting a little clearer? It's getting clearer. Okay, so let's look at point four. What's going on at point four? Point four, the velocity is zero because it's at a zero slope. Very good. But since it's smiling, it's positive acceleration. Good. Greater than zero. It's concave up. This region right here is concave up. Mm -hmm. All right. So then um, point five. What's going on at point five? At point five, you have, if you move it to the right ever so slightly, it's going to be decreasing. Good. So if I went that way, we'd start going down. So the velocity is? Less than zero. Good. And then? The acceleration is also less than zero because it's on a concave down. All right, good, very good. So now... Six. Like you, for most of these, you go from wave to wave. So from saying, wavelength to wave. They're, they're go, looking at the rest of it? Yeah, like they're looking at the rest of it. They're going from wavelength to wavelength. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you do have to cross the the critical point before you make your assessment. And that curve is going up a little bit. What about the acceleration though? The acceleration would still be positive because it's on a concave up. Be careful. Okay, this is unlike any of them we've seen because all of the points have been on a curved portion of, of the curve, okay? There's some curvature going on, so there's acceleration. Look at our slope here. Mm -hmm. So let me do it in blue, maybe. The slope is pretty much a straight line, right? Yeah. It's constant. What does it mean when our slope is constant here? That means that the acceleration that the acceleration is zero. Zero. Good. All right. All right. You feel, you feel better about this concept now? I feel better about it. Good. Uh, we'll do another one of these uh, in a little while. Um,